Hey guys, Saito Chi here and welcome back to another week of Rare Monster videos. For this week, I'm going to cover the week 37 and that is going to be Demon Lord Helga. She is going to be Beast Types Earth Attribute with Leather Armors. Now for the Earth Attribute, it's going to be weak against Fire as well as Poison Damage. You're getting like 50% damage boost with Fire against Earth and then 12.5% with Poison against Earth. There are two specific classes that is really good for this week ranking and that is going to be the Black Doctor as well as Pyromancer. Now for the Leather Armor, it's going to be weak against both guns as well as pure damage so scout and archer does definitely have a huge chance of ranking for this week as well and then going to the beast type now beast type is actually really good again this week rare boss because beast type offer huge amounts of physical attack ratio which is 1.3 and then really low magic attack ratio which is 0.8 now demon low hellgate is mainly focused on magic damage so this way she's gonna have lesser magic damage output for the defensive status, she is going to have a lot of physical defense by the way and that is going to be 1.2. Magic defense, not so much, it's going to be 0.8. Now going to the weak pattern skill is going to be Flame War, Eye Light, Dead Rooms, Root of Fortitude as well as Accuracy Specialty. Now for the Accuracy Specialty, you definitely don't want to max out your invasion because it's not worth it. Maybe classic with shield and high block rate definitely work against this bot but other than that, max out your HP as as possible. For the Rune of Fortitude, this rune is going to give you a damage buff. Now the damage buff is worth mentioning because if you don't have enough damage buffs to get 100% damage cap, then you definitely want to get this rune. But if you step on a rune, the rune will prevent your catcher to heal, but you also receive damage over time. What I do recommend is actually step on the rune for as long as you need to, get a damage stack and just leave the rune right away. The moment you leave outside of the rune, the rune will disappear. Now for the third skill is going to be Dead Rune. This is a magic circle skill that will explode after one second, inflicting a huge amount of damage by the way. It also decreases your accuracy as well. So one thing you want to do is actually get a weapons or any kind of equipment that have the accuracy status, random status incurred, or maybe accuracy status that mainly focus to deal with this rune. I have not tested out yet, but in my opinion, this room might decrease a lot of accuracy, so you might want to watch out for it even though you have a lot of accuracy for your character. Next is going to be Eye Light. Eye Light is a very unique skill by the way, because what it does is that Demon Lord Helga is going to summon a minion. This minion will shoot a laser beam out of his eye, and if you touch a laser beam, it's going to bind your character, which is very important because Demon Lord Helga is very strong. She has two ultimate attacks. One of them is the Blood Oil, and the other one here where she focuses up and burst rates extremely hard. Now, another thing I do want to mention about Eye Light is that if you touch the Flame Wall along with the Eye Light, this is very, very difficult matchup because if you hit by Eye Light, the Flame Wall gonna knock you and you're gonna get that damage debuff on the Flame Wall as well as movement speed reduction, which is really bad. Speaking of the Flame Wall, this is actually the rotation ability from the left, bottom, top, and to right corner. There's gonna be a huge pillar of flame that's coming out. The best way to dodge this skill is actually going to the gap hole. If you have a teleport skill like Wizard, you're definitely gonna have fewer advantages against Flame Wall. If not, I personally recommend just going to the gap hole and deal with the Flame Wall. Onto my equipment as well as the cars, it's going to be full attack and set effects, full car line, plus reverse seal, divine retribution art for exorcist crusader and status, plus the things this nice diamond of maze with the crusader vibora and standard random status. And then for the trinket, it's going to be collection trinkets. I personally use this for extra crit rates to take advantage of the attack and set effect. Also, because my build exorcist shadow crusader, if you're interested in checking out the skill build, the link to the skill build will be available in the video description below. So feel free to check it out. The next one is going to be the card. The card is actually the most important one. The blue card always go for Noel for extra magic defense. If you don't have Noel, go for this card. This is a Mamilla card. It's really good. It's going to give you 12% damage reduction against any bosses regardless of physical or magic damage. Get this card before tomorrow by the way because after they maintain, this card is gone until they decide to re-roll or rotate this card back into their Merc Smasher. The green card, get any card that can give you the extra raw damage. Personally, I use Lucia, which is giving me intelligence for magic builds. Now, legend card, Demon Lord Monarchs, Borotas, or Pantherex. Those are three options. You can always go for, I believe, a Demon Lord Rexifer for extra movement speed. But with the Monarchs one, it's gonna give me extra crit chance for minimum crit chance actually for the attack and set effect. Pandora's gonna give you the extra beast damage. And then we have Borotas that increase damage against all bosses. Pandora is going to be the next biggest option for you because Pandora always give you the huge beast damage compared to Borota. Anyway, it's really up to you which card you want to use. It can be Demon Lord Monarchs, Borotas, Rex Deferred, or Pandora. Oh, or maybe even Demon Lord Noel will give you a huge amount of magic defense. 
All right, the red card is going to be the Wubu Fader card. Definitely want to use this one because it's going to give you up to hand permanent beast damage. You can always use the Vanilla or Prison Cutter. Vanilla for poison damage and Prison Cutter for flea damage. It's optional based on your build, but personally use Wubu Fader because it's always up time and you don't necessarily have to wave or do any setups for extra damage. Onto the purple card and that is going to be the Gazing Golem. The reason why you want to use this card is because Demon Lord Helga has a two knockback in the face. One of them is the Flame War and the other one is where she uses the Bluffs Orb and it does explosion on it. If you stand on top of it, it's going to do the burst damage but also knock back your catcher into a different area. Next, we have the potion. There is the Heroes and the Goddess Retribution potion for beast damage. The first one is actually really decent for 50% damage boost for 10 seconds while the Goddess one is going to give you 100%. Now for the rule of thumbs, always pick up the goddess if you want to bring or the hero if you want to clear the contest. The next one is going to be Leticia Potion. This one is actually really good by the way. It's going to give you 30% damage reduction for 10 minutes which is not bad at all. Also I do want to point out that this potion pricing is based on Calpedo prices so each server has different pricing for the potion. Another option you can actually use is actually the Decadoran Special Potion, this one right here. It's the same way throughout the same status and, and effects for the Leticia Potion, but it costs you 20,000 batches to buy one. And you can only buy one per day. There is Kedoran Special Potion as well. This one gonna give you flat physical and magic defense by 30,000 for 10 minutes. It's optional and you don't have enough gear to kind of tank the boss. Alright, after you get your priest buff, your foot buffs, your statue and C buffs, as well as maintain buff for your weapons and the sub weapons for the extra raw damage, you are going to pick up the enchant buff. Now for the enchant buff, there is three different options. The first one is going to be the Diva Duration Reduction. This one is really good against Flame War as well as Dead Runes. It's optional. You are going to get 10% by the way for top and bottom, 5% each. And the other one is going to be buff duration for demonic inkers and all for your skill buff technically. This one is optional in my opinion, but if you want to focus on extra second for the demonic overload rate inkers, you can always go for this one. And then last one, we have the conversion between SVR to con. This is really good by the way for mage build only. I don't recommend physical builds by the way because you get a mini focus on the strength, dex, and con status. Now for the mage build, it's always in touch and SPR and con. So if you're a mage, always go for this one. This one is just way too good. All right, we are ready. Let's go ahead and buff up real quick. The boss will spawn in the middle by the way. Now I do want to point out about flame wall. It's going to be the left, bottom, top, and right. All right, here we go. Let's see how much damage I can do against this boss. Oh, looking good so far. Oh, wow. Wait, did I just cancel my skill? What? <laughs> okay. Was not expecting that. Alright. Quit. Going down, going down. Nice. Gonna draw some skill. Oh, watch out. Ooh, I forgot about that back skills. That doesn't actually hurt a lot, by the way. She gonna dash again? How many dashes she do, by the way? Oh, dead run, dead run. I'm going to grab this real quick. Now, like I said, if you leave this thing, you're actually going to lose the buff. Well, the statue, the statue circle is going to disappear, by the way. I'm just going to wrap, like, at least a little bit more. More. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> uh, we should be good. Just go ahead and just burst the boss down. I could actually just use the skill there, but I just want to dodge her skills. Nice, looking good so far. Watch out. Keep getting hit by that skills. Oh, another flame wall is coming out. We have 16 stack by the way. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of stack. Let's see how much damage we can do. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Three millions, okay. Condemns. Five millions. Oh, that's minus. Okay, this is really good. It's really good. It's gonna focus a little bit here. Oh, another dash coming out. Rubik. I lie from there? That's way too far away. Right, I'm gonna use Manga TS. That's really far away. I can't see that. Dead run, watch out. Here come her ultimate. Alright, we stung her a little bit. Let's walk away. Drop her skills. And we good. Uh, her ultimate should be good now. Yes, nice. We got it down. Okay, let's see how much damage I can do for this part right here. Oh, I like, I like. I'm gonna move away from that. Stun. Crit. Yes, nice. Okay. 
Is there crit damage? No, why did she jump? I... <sighs> this is why I hate her so much. She keeps jumping. Alright. Damage reduction coming out. Oh, I forgot this potion as well. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, I do have one. Never mind. Alright. What she does? Projection crit. Nice. I like. I see you from over there. Alright. Flame pillars coming out. No crit. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oop. Is she gonna dash? Oh, yeah, she's gonna dash again. That's so annoying. Alright, Will of Force 2 is coming out. I'm gonna heal up before taking on a run. Gonna drop a few skill here. Not the allies. I don't want that. Just drop a few skills. Extra damage coming out. Can I get like 20 stack from here? That's what I'm wondering. Damage reduction. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh. I'm actually not using Dark Rubik, by the way. I just realized that. Oh, dead run, dead run. Rubik should be up soon. It's gonna drop my combo here. Oh man, 20 stacks. That is 200% damage boot. Oh. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get my Dark Rubik on because that's what I'm missing right now. Oop, there we go. 10 millions. Wow, okay. Okay, 10 million. I'll take that. Oh, oh, oh. That's hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Ouch. 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 Crit. Crit. Nice. Dot Rubik's. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. That's really hurt. She got a dash. Come back. Come back here. She got a dash again. No dash. I believe mean, Flamewall is next out of bottom. Yes, yes, should be out of bottom. Nice crit. Alright, it's all the way to the left. Come on, Vashita. Stung her, stung her, stung her. Nice. We have 40 seconds left on the buff. This is really good. Wait, why can I dash? There we go. I like. How much damage can we do? Oh, first. Jumps. Nice. We dodged that. No ultimate yet. No ultimate yet. Don't ultimate yet, please. I don't want to deal with another ultimate right now. We need the damage ranking. First. Oh, the like my gear is broken. Go ahead to repair real quick. There we go. Okay, Grace. Check your goddess crit. Nah, no crit. That sucks. We have 11 seconds. We have 11 seconds all buff. Alright, dodge that. Ooh. Cheetah. Nice. Another dash coming out. Got a buff real quick. Just heal up. We have one meta left. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wood of 42 is up right here. Alright, I'm gonna stand on there. No. You know what? I'll take risk for it. Uh, that kind of sucked to be honest. It is what it is. I was not expecting her ultimate to be there and then Wood of 42 just happened to pass by. That sucks though. That sucks though. Oh, it is what it is anyway. Protection with the goddess. Nice. Watch out for a burst. What? <laughs> I got knocked in the air. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Close one, close one. We got 2 billion damage. That's really good. Nice. Alright, Sacred. Follow up with any combo here. Looking good so far. And then, nice. All right, let's see. Allies coming out. Up. Oh. Bashida, first, first, first. No, oh, come on. We have twenty seconds. Stay still. Stay still. No, she walked too, too far away. Crit, nice. Burst here. Burst here. Burst here. We have seven seconds. Come on, come on, come on. I should be able to do it. I should be able to do it. 2.4 billion? Ah, okay. Anyway, I'll take it. It is what it is. This is actually really good for me. 2.3 billion damage. Anyway, that is pretty much for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sadducee once again, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.